Hello everyone. This video is for the students who are preparing for campus placement and we are going to provide a step by step guide about how can you prepare for campus placement so that you can get a maximum package or there's a guaranteed job. Secondly, uh, this is a starting video for the students who enroll for our placement preparation courses. So if you want to enroll for our placement preparation courses, please visit our website which is www.digimentor.com. So these days we are providing the live classes for campus placement preparation. So this is complete a six months course and in this complete six months course, the lot of things we are going to cover and the things that we are going to cover, we are going to mention in this video. So you are the students who enrolled for these courses. So that is why you are watching this video. So let us start with it. So what are the target audiences that we have? So the target audience are the students who are in their final year or pre final year of BTech, MTech, MCA or MSc IT. And secondly, these are, this is also for the students who are preparing for their off campus placements. This course is not intended for the experienced professionals because if you are having 10 years of experience or 5 years of experience, obviously this course is not going to be a very helpful course for you, but it is specifically designed for the people who are just pass out or who are in their final or pre final years of their courses. So what are the steps uh, that we are going to discuss here? So first of all, there will be an aptitude and reasoning. See in our courses, we are not covering aptitude and reasoning. Uh, later on, maybe we can maybe we can plan to cover, but right now we are not covering aptitude and reasoning. Then we'll be looking at some of the important programming languages that we can study and the languages that I am teaching in the course. Third, what are the subject basics? What are the important subjects of your BTEC or MCA that you have strong basics about? Then we will be looking at some IT certifications that you can go and you can do the IT certifications, some practice problems from various companies. And then we will be looking at some interview experiences. What are the kind of questions this company asked and what are the interview experience of some students? And then we'll be dis discussing about the previous problems of some of these companies and also some competitive programming problems. So we'll go step by step with all these things. So let us start with the programming languages. So very first and the most important question that people ask is what programming language should I learn? What programming language to learn? Okay. So this is the most basic question. So for to answer this question, I have taken some statistics of the most popular programming languages. So this statistics here, the first statistics that I'm showing you is from TIOBE and this is a programming community and they measures uh, the popularity of a programming language every month. So this is the latest statistics of October 2019. So the most popular programming language here is Java in the companies. And uh, then the second most popular programming language is C and third most popular programming language is Python and the fourth one is C++, fifth one is C Sharp. So as you can see, this is a list of complete uh, list of programming languages which are currently very, very popular in the industry. You can learn these programming languages so that you can start programming. So in this course, we have already covered some basics of uh, C programming language in our preliminary course. We have also covered some basics of C++. This is like a very basics of C++ is again in preliminary course. Now in this course, we will be studying Python programming language as well as Java programming language. Okay. So C sharp we are not doing right now. We are focusing on Java and Python because to solve some problems of competitive programming, it's better that you know an object oriented programming language, a part of C. C, C is not an object oriented programming language. It is a procedural programming language, but to solve the problems for competitive programming and placement preparations, it is always better that you have knowledge of one good object oriented programming language. It can be C++, C sharp or Java, any one of them. So what we'll be doing is we will be doing Java in this course. We'll be doing Python in this course. You had some basics of C++, maybe that can help you later on, but uh, these top three programming languages, we are going to have a strong foundation of these programming languages. A part of this, what are the other programming languages that you can learn? So this is top 20 programming languages. Here you can just see the list of uh, these programming languages like you have Visual Basic .NET, you have JavaScript, you have SQL. So JavaScript is also very, very important because it is a scripting language. So you should have a knowledge of one good object oriented programming language. 
second is you should have a knowledge of one good scripting language for example here javascript is a very good scripting language that you can learn if you want to go for uh, web development maybe you want to go for php if you want to do ios application development maybe you are going to for go go for objective c and there are so many different programming languages here so you can just see the entire list right now this is the programming trends so you can see the popularity of java it was very very high but uh, nowadays java popularity is declining but rather the popularity of python is growing day by day even c language is very popular because it is one, one of the very easiest programming language and even in your uh, btech and uh, mtech in basics of btech or first year of your bsc it or maybe your mc or bca you learn c programming language this is a very very old programming language designed in 1970s so we do not use this programming language so much in your uh, companies but again most of the programming language that we use is java python and c++ is also used somewhat as well as .NET is also used okay so what i would suggest is just follow these trends so that you do not miss out any uh, latest technologies that so you can see there are a lot of uh, programming languages like ruby and rails and a lot of programming languages they they come they become popular and then again they extinct correct so for example here you can see this is the trend for objective c so objective c become very very popular here and then again objective c is you know somewhat this some demand but again uh, it's it was popular earlier right so in the same way you can see uh, which language you can learn i would suggest java python uh, and c this is a very good combination to start with and if you are more interested in dotnet technologies you can learn c sharp instead of java okay so secondly uh, this is the trends according to the google search so according to the google search as you can see python is again coming up very uh, high these days python is one of the programming language which is very very easy to learn and the applications are huge you can use python in web development you can use python in machine learning you can use python in various software developments also so python is becoming very very popular these days it's growing very fast because of its its powerfulness as well as so easy it is so easy to learn and secondly java you can learn and javascript right so this is a very good combination to start with so you can see other programming languages which are also uh, trending these days even this kotlin language it was it is introduced now to uh, develop android applications so if you are more interested in learning android application development maybe you want to learn kotlin right so java is also a good combination with kotlin because you can develop android applications in java as well as you can also develop android applications in kotlin now this is a long term history i mean from 1989 to 2019 what are the languages which are stable and which are very very popular so as you say c language it was number one programming language is 1990s and even early 2000s also it was number one programming language but again in 2019 it is number two programming language so we have already covered the basics of c language in our preliminary course so maybe you can uh, study and go through that entire basics of c language but again we are focusing on these uh, top three programming languages which is java c and python because uh, with the help of these three programming language you can solve every competitive programming problem as well as any every company problem any problem that they give the companies most of these problems can be solved using these programming languages but a part of this also you can see the histories of other programming languages see how uh, this uh, python start becoming popular so earlier in 2000 uh, in early 2000s it was very below in ranking it was 20 22nd but now it started becoming very popular it is coming up these days and if you see uh, the other programming languages like you have uh, i should say objective c so objective c is again very good language that you can learn uh, for ios application development and lisp you can see lisp is going down these days so earlier it was considered in 1989 it was considered as third most popular in 2014 it was considered as 17th most popular but now it is 32nd and pascal is now 219 so which is very very low right so earlier uh, in 1994 the ranking was 3 right but now pascal is ranked at 219 which is very very low right so there are a lot of programming languages that come and that go day by day but uh, we should focus on this top 3 or 4 programming languages for placements only okay now what are the subject basics that you can learn so there are some most important subjects that you can focus on for uh, 
your placements for example data success algorithm it is actually number one subject you cannot miss this subject in your bachelors or in your colleges so this data success algorithm subject is going to be very very useful very very useful in lot of examinations as well as it's also going to be very very useful for competitive programming actually i should say without a programming language you can work but without algorithms and data structures basics you cannot work even if you know c language data structures and algorithm that is a very very strong combination because people generally focus on problem solving you need only these three things to solve the problem you need only these three things to get a very very high level package or you can say very good package in the companies so if you have a very strong foundation of these three language that is going to be very good and a part of this you are also going to focus on dbms because you want to work on softwares like sql mysql oracle so you should have very good foundation of dbms you should have very good foundation of operating system and computer networks because there are the softwares which are developed uh, which are network dependent also so again uh, you should have knowledge for these five subjects which are very important data structures algorithm dbms operating system and computer networks a part of this additionally you can also learn some extra things for example you can learn linux so because a lot of companies work on linux instead of windows linux is a open source operating system plus uh, it's uh, you know uh, it, we are not having viruses in linux and uh, they can develop good applications most of the softwares that are available for linux they are open source so linux is considered as one of the very uh, good operating system so after learning these uh, basics fundamentals you can also go for linux as a subject basics so you should know the sub basics of each of these now in algorithms so this is just a broad category of algorithms for example you can have algorithms which are related to searching and sorting you can have algorithms which are related to recursion divide and conquer dynamic programming stacks and queues back tracking there are so, so many different algorithms so we are going to cover all these algorithms in our course so in our course we'll be covering basics of all these algorithms complete basics of all these algorithms plus we'll be covering some practice problems practice problems plus we are going to cover some previous or company problems so for example any problem that was asked in companies like adobe amazon samsung or so so many different companies are there so we are going to cover the problems from each of these companies which are based on these algorithms so our first target okay let me just discuss it later on how we are going to proceed with the course and a part of this there are so many different it certifications that you can do so i would suggest you to do some of these it certifications according to this number because this is about importance of these it certifications so it, it's more like if you have it certifications then you do not have to give a written test or you do not have to go through technical interviews because these certifications itself are telling that you are very good in that particular technology so you directly can, can go for interviews right so but again if you have a very strong basics of programming language if you have a very strong basics of algorithm if you have a very strong basics of this it if you have a it certification then it is guaranteed that you can get a job easily right that gives a guarantee so just even if you uh, have a very good it certification that guarantees that you can get a job very very easily uh, in the industries so these are some of the it certifications so for example here you can see we can have a certification from amazon we can get a certification from microsoft google cloud platforms and there's so many different um, vendors are present so because specifically we are discussing about cl uh, cloud so these are the three giants who are providing uh, certifications and uh, here the first one is uh, aws associate this is from amazon so because uh, i've already already so done this course on aws certified solution architect and uh, aws satisfied uh, developer so i've done these courses so maybe in our course i'm going to cover the basics of this because you never know uh, what your interview is, interviewer is going to ask so in our course we will also be covering some basics of aws uh, certified solution architect right so we'll be doing that okay and this is the devops so devops is basically it's not just about a single tool there are a lot of tools that you can do so i have not done any kind of certification so i have no knowledge of devops so i'm not going to cover devops in this course right now maybe in later we can see but right now i'm not going to cover devops then this is some of the security certifications that you can do and this is just an additional that you can do right if you have a knowledge of aws that is very good but this is just some additional uh, things that you can do if you want to go in the field of uh, security it security maybe you want to 
take this certification seriously but uh, as you can see this fees of these certifications is also very very high so maybe you want to plan if you want to have these certifications or not okay uh, most of the time the companies uh, they sponsor you to get these certifications now if you want to go for the networking field maybe you can uh, go for the certifications like ccie or ccna or ccnp so you can also go for these kind of certifications for networking we are not going to cover the basics of these certifications but again we are going to cover the very basics of computer networks because that is very very important for our placement preparation now these are some of the programming languages and you can get a certification of these programming languages as i said we'll be focusing on python and java for java we have a certification which is ocjp or you can say scjp so we will be teaching java in the sense that you are going to uh, apply for these certifications which is ocjp and scjp right and uh, we'll be having some basics of javascript also so javascript also we are going to cover the basics of javascript you can already see that i have already up uploaded many lectures related to javascript in our course right and this is a data science certificate maybe you can have the certification if you are uh, you know uh, interested in this so for example right now these days i am learning machine learning so i'm just going through the content and the lectures so or machine learning i'm just doing some work on machine learning these days so maybe in future you can see that uh, i can make a separate course maybe if it is required but again uh, i'm just uh, as an enthusiast i'm just learning machine learning so this is something good that you can do but you do not have to do anything regarding this so this is a project management certificate if you want to go for web development you can have these certifications there are so many different certifications that you know okay so what we'll be doing here is we will be uh, preparing for aptitude and reasoning so i suggest that you can prepare for aptitude and reasoning on your end because in my course uh, because i am not a aptitude and reasoning faculty so personally i am not going to cover aptitude and reasoning maybe some other faculty i can join with and he or she can cover aptitude and reasoning so if they covers then i will provide aptitude and reasoning also secondly we will we have already covered the basics of c and c++ now we are starting with the programming languages like python as well as java so we will be having a basics of python and java then there will be uh, one scripting language for example you have javascript this is something that we will be covering so already we have covered like uh, 20 lectures on uh, javascript but again to learn more you can go through them okay and then we will be covering some of the previous questions for comparative programming as well as the companies that they have asked and last we will be fo focusing on one it certification so this is basically on your end this is on your end because i'm going to cover the basics i'm going to cover the things that is going to require for you to get this certification so i'm going to cover the basics of aws as well as i'm going to cover the basics of scjp and ocjp right uh, a part of this i'm also ibm certified so i have done a certification for ibm db2 academic associate so this is something that you can get this is very very cheap generally in lot lot of colleges they provide this certification free of cost so but again i am ibm certified db2 academic associate and uh, you can get a certification for aws and scjp and ocjp so uh, i'm going to cover some basics not very in depth some basics and for this i'm going to cover thoroughly okay so these are things that we are going to learn in the next 6 uh, months period so i hope that it answered a lot of your questions and queries and uh, the classes that we do is on every saturday and sunday and these are live classes and these are live classes so i request all the students who are enrolled for uh, placement preparation course please come and join the live classes and let's start thank you so much for watching the video